Hello everyone, Simi Dad back here again on our debt free owner operator series. Welcome along, I hope you are all well. Uh, it's been a minute since we've had one of these come out. Um, we'll get into the reasons why, etc. Um, shortly. Uh, it's just illness and stuff like that, really. But we have uh, made it back to Salt Lake City, Utah, uh, through a combination of doing some jobs, which we were heading this way anyway. Uh, the game has now been updated to 1.49, which means we currently have no access to Canada or Mexico due to the update. So we will not be able to run up to up or down to them places until the new versions of those maps come out. The reason the update is done, normally I would hang on, but we do convoy now on a Sunday with the guys. Um, and they were all updated to the 1.49 update because it's got some pretty cool features, so we decided to do an update. So we are back in Salt Lake City. We have come to see Jake. We are going to get booted up. We've got some money. Uh, the jobs that we did were... Let's have a look. Career logbook. So we did two deliveries. There's a boom lift from Provo to Beaumont and then petrol to from Beaumont to Woodward. Um, we cleared just about 10,000 for that so we're currently on 11,600 and we're gonna it's our slot now to go and see Jake so we'll roll in we'll get the new boots and then we'll get out and do a job so I will catch you back here in just a second Right, there, guys, so we are out. Jake has done the business. He has uh, put the new wheels on, and they are looking mighty fine, if I do say so myself. We've got the Alco reels on. We've got the nice uh, Goodyear tyres on. We are all booted and suited and ready to go with the new wheels. Now, that cost us 6000 It was a little bit more because I changed the width of the tyre choice at the last minute. Uh, Jake had some different tyres in that were slightly more expensive, but you know <clears throat> we do want the the old girl to look the best that she can, so we did that, um, and we added on some different nut covers and stuff like that. So that was uh, that was all sorted. Uh, we did also get a little service done, um, just a couple of filters needed changing, and that was two hundred and ninety dollars. So all in, not bad. We still got five five thousand or so in the bank. So yeah, all good. Right, so we've got a job on. We are going to be doing this in a two-part. <laughs> we doing this as, as a two-parter. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all, all well. Um, pleased that we finally got the new boots on the truck. Uh, hopefully, it's going to help us out with efficiency and stuff like that. Who knows if it actually will? But it's it's all good. It's, uh, it's progress, none the least. Nonetheless, so we, um, yeah, there's been a bit of a lack of content as well. Um, let's touch on that. So I do apologise for that. Um, it's, it's as frustrating as me for me as I'm sure it's been for you. Turn right. Um, but basically, it all started with uh, about tonsillitis, and then it's just carried on from there. I've just had this lingering sort of cough and, and uh, just general sort of grottiness so um, and, you know, it's just really hard to want to record straight. when you're not feeling up, up to your best you know so I've done a couple of streams recently and that kind of thing and um, you know I've still been playing games in the background mainly farm sim but um, yeah that's that's largely the reason I am um, feeling better now i probably still not 100 percent if i'm honest but i'm as close to as it's going to be i think and i run the risk of of not losing interest because that's not you know that's not on the cars because i absolutely love making these videos and i love the series and love the work that we've put in so far but i just run the risk of it getting to a point where i don't know how to come back you know so i thought well actually you know, 95, 98% is, is about as good as it's going to get. So. You know, let's just get back on the horse, so to speak. Start making videos. Uh, I'm going to go hard now over the next couple of days. Um, recording these videos so that we can... Because Christmas is around the corner. 
So that's going to start meaning less time for content creation and stuff like that because obviously the kids will want to do stuff and, and the missus will want to do stuff and, and I'll want to do stuff. And that's, you know, that's obviously important to spend time with, with your loved ones and keep uh, lit and you know, pin enjoy the life. festive season. content, getting During videos life. ready, getting them uh, loaded up on the schedule. Two a week for this series, one a week for the uh, American Abroad series, and then that should take us up nicely to Christmas. So I'm hoping, um, hoping to get that done over the next few days, get them all edited and ready and uploaded so then it doesn't matter too much because you'll all have a, a steady stream of content to watch. Which, I mean, you'll have that from other people as well anyway, I'm, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, all, all in all, it's it's been okay. Nothing nothing major has really changed. Just in the run-up to Christmas now, getting all that prepared. Uh, you know, with four kids, it gets a pretty expensive time of year. Um, my oldest lad, he's 13, and it's uh, impossible to get any kind of answer out of him as to what he might want for Christmas. Um, so, Turn right. yeah, it's... Uh, it's a bit of a battle. I love him dearly, but I wish, uh, wish at times he'd be a bit more forthcoming when I'm asking him with, uh, with ideas for things that he might want. And you know, I, I understand 13's a difficult age, and you might not necessarily know what you want, but some kind of <laughs> some kind of input would be better than nothing, right? So I think the only thing he'd really said that he wanted was uh, God of War Ragnarok, which is a game. His PlayStation, and then he said gift cards. I was like, "Well, I don't really want to get you just gift cards for Christmas." It's been my honor and duty to you know, see you. That's uh, that's what it is. So we'll check in here. We'll get the job, and we'll be right back, ready to load. Uh, head back down there. It does look pretty sweet with the new boots on, I can't, can't, can't lie on that front. So, um, yeah, the next step for us is we've got two ways that we could go. I would value all of your opinion. Slightly off. So do I. Let's go. So she's not too too of a heavy load, so we should be um, should be okay. I think we've done one of these before. Um, she's going up to uh, she's going up to Sand Point in Idaho. So it's, I think it's, it's not a terribly long distance. I think it's just over about a thousand miles from here. So it's not, not a short distance, but it's longer than I'd want on one episode, which is uh, 760 miles. So we'll, we'll run that in two. We've got to have a sleep anyway. So we'll probably run, run it almost exactly in half. So we'll run about, uh, in 400 meters, turn left. 80 miles or so, find somewhere to stop. And then turn we'll, left. Um, pick up on, on Sunday's episode then. Uh, but yeah, so, yeah, Christmas is rapidly approaching, so Keep that's right. what we've been focusing on as a household. Continue straight. Um, <clears throat> and then obviously just been continue working and all straight. that usual stuff. And yeah, it's just been been that really, I'm battling on with the illness and you know, anyone that's got kids, especially small kids, you'll know what it's like at this time of year, it's just uh, infection city, 
kids go to school and then they come back with a bug and then they pass it on to another kid and then it mutates into something else and then they bring it back to school and it's just a, a, a cycle for winter. In 400 so meters, turn right. It, uh, yeah, there's that. Turn right. And then, yeah, the, the VTC is going pretty well. We've been doing some, we've done a couple of giveaways. Uh, current one ends on Sunday for the new Kansas DLC, uh, which is coming out today, actually, the day of this release. So get yourself over onto Steam and uh, pick up a copy of Kansas. That should be out at some point today. Uh, interestingly, they also announced a farm equipment DLC pack as well. So that's um, been a farm sim lover that's something that's interesting to me so I'll be probably looking to pick that up as well and may well do like a little feature about that if we end up picking it up and it depends on price really because if I think there's about 10 pieces of equipment in there so if it's you know if it's 15 quid for it then it's probably not worth it in my opinion but if it's you know a fiver then it's probably not too bad Obviously, with Christmas, doing the penny pinching. So, but that's all right. Um, but yeah, well, the main main thing really is we've been doing regular convoys on a Sunday, which is absolutely awesome. I've been loving those. Pump out the stream on a Sunday, and the guys join, and it's uh, Mr. Farquhar's been on with us, and we've, we've got uh, Lynn and Scruffy and Wolf. Keep right, and pin, exit right. They all join, which is awesome. We have a great time. Um, Exit right. Some funny things that go on as well, like glitches and crashes. And Mr. Farquhar did it the other day. <laughs> Left his trailer behind in the gas station. We pulled up. We pulled. Well, he pulled up to a gas station to fill up, and then sort of pulled off. And he's like, "Why? Why is Wolf going the wrong way?" But it wasn't that. He was. He'd left his trailer at the gas station so the GPS was rerouting it back to the gas station to go pick it up. So that was funny. Uh, but yeah, we just have a blast to be honest. It's just a good laugh. We stream it, I stream it on YouTube on Sunday night. Um, if my oldest son is up, stays up his mum's, then he we go early, we start sort of 7 38. If he's up with us most Sundays anyway, depends it largely depends on if he's got school the next day or not. If he's got school the next day, then he stays with us. If not, then he will, will come and will stay up his mum's, which means we can go a bit earlier. The reason we go a bit late there is because um, when he's here is because he likes to he likes for me to go up there and, and sort of just say goodnight to him and give him a fist bump and all that kind of stuff. So. Trying to hang on, for, hang on to that for as long as possible. He's 13. Um, you know, I, I remembered what I was like when I was 13. I was getting to the point where, you know, my my, my mum, uh, she was the only one that was around when we were kids. You know, too cool and didn't want to speak to her and stuff. So, um, trying to cling on to that fact that he wants to hang around and, and see me and stuff for as long as possible before he's uh, decides actually, Dad. No thanks, not anymore. You know, I'm too too old. I hope it doesn't happen because I've you know I've got a pretty good relationship with him. I think at least, and uh, yeah, I hope that we have like a good friendship as he grows. Uh, we're not getting pulled in for a way, so that's good. Yeah, I hope we just continue to have a good relationship as he as he sort of grows into a man, and then when he's older, we can sort of for a beer together and stuff. That's something I didn't have when I was a kid, so Keep I hope that um, yeah, I hope that, that stays. Um, and then the other main thing is I've come to the conclusion that after Christmas and I'm not, you know, I don't know everyone says this um, I'm going to he's going to crush us my fault because I should have cleared over and didn't realise the lane was ending and now he 
he's cutting out the inside of us so we can't come in. You handing back or what? Are you coming? God's sake. Uh, yeah, I know sort of everyone says it. You know, oh yeah, after Christmas I'm going to do this. And oh yeah, after Christmas I'm going to do that. But I've come to the decision that um, my weight is becoming a problem. Keep right. And I'm heavy set, lads. Turn right. I won't give you figures because I don't really want it. Uh, I'm a heavy set lad. I'm turn not right. very tall. I'm five eight on a good day, but I'm quite, you know, quite hefty. It's probably the non-official term for it, but you know, I carry, carry a lot of weight, um, and I've sort of come to the conclusion that I should have realised a long time ago that it was a problem and done something about it. And I've tried over the years. I've done, you know, various different diet plans and stuff. Um, I used to be very active, I used to cycle to work every day, which was 13 miles each way. Um, <clears throat> so it was 26 miles a day on the bike, rain, shine, sun, snow, whatever, whatever the weather. It was, you know, that was the only mode of transport I had at the time, so I did that for four years. So I became very fit and, and sort of, I wouldn't say like toned or anything, but I was, you know, wasn't fat really. I was probably what people would describe as skinny fat. That's the term that people use this this uh, at the moment. So, yeah, skinny fat, and then you know could, could cycle 26 miles easy. Did a couple of like charity rides of, of 100 miles plus, and you know just generally was 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 in quite good health. Um, my diet was still poor, but obviously because I was doing so much exercise, it was the fact that I was you know I was essentially needing to eat the amount that I was eating. It was just so you're just going to keep coming, yeah? Even though I'm pulling out and you're way back and I'm indicating you're just going to keep on coming. You absolute idiot. Uh, yeah, so I was, you know, I was needing to eat a lot of calories because I was doing a lot of exercise and on, you know, even then I was doing four days a week in the gym as well. There was a gym by work, so I'd go and train weights four days a week. So, I was, you know, I was pretty, I don't want to say in amazing shape or anything. My body wasn't like, you know, those that you see in magazines and stuff, but... I was reasonably happy, I was content, I was reasonably fit. Um, but then I got a car. We, uh, this was 2016. My uh, wife and I had a baby. Well, she had the baby, obviously. Um, and we didn't, neither of us drove at the time, didn't have a car, we'd always relied on public transportation. So it became clear that, you know, we were gonna have this, this baby and uh, probably needed to have um, needed to have a car, so we got a car. Oh, I, I, I did my driving, got a car, and uh, I've never cycled to work since. I've never really been on the bike either, so it became very clear that although I enjoyed riding and, and going to the gym and stuff, I once obviously our son came along. sort of put a stop to all of that because we uh, yeah, I was tired he wasn't you know he couldn't sleep at the nights and stuff so we would you know I'd be tired I'd be getting up at like five to cycle to the gym then to work after then get back and he'd need stuff doing and he would not sleep in the night so you just end up being really tired and I just think oh so it just became easy because I had the car, just drive to work. It took me 15, 20 minutes instead of 40 to 60 minutes, which was a dream. Um, and then obviously what happened then is the, uh, the gym fell by the wayside as well. Even though in theory, theory the gym should have been easy to keep up because obviously I was saving time by not having to cycle to work but yeah so that just sort of the weight just started creeping on because I didn't change my diet realizing that I didn't need all the extra calories I was having anymore so yeah I'm now sitting at the heaviest that I've ever been um, probably the most unfit that I've ever been yeah, I'm, I'm 34 I don't want to be I've got young kids, I want to be able to take them up the 
park and just run around after them, like a, you know, and I just have a good time and not think. But I can do it for a, about five seconds before I feel like my heart's going to explode. So, yeah, it's um, it's just a realization now that something needs to change. I need to make some kind of changes to my um, diet, my exercise. I didn't do any exercise so I think after Christmas I am going to start looking to do couch to 5k I think is what I'm going to do um, I'd love to start going to the gym again but I'm just a bit where the town where I live has got a very big gym community and they're all sort of big buff jack dudes that have been doing it basically their whole life. You know, rugby's like, like the water, you know, it's like the water around here. That's essentially what most of the boys play around where I live is they get into school and then they play rugby and then obviously they start training in the gym, they start training rugby and before you know it, they, uh, you know, they've been doing it for 15, 20 years and they're absolutely massive jacked in good shape. So, yeah, I, I, would like to start going to the gym there's a new gym that's opened but I just have that degree of self-consciousness and, and wrongly so it shouldn't be that way obviously I should just be comfortable enough to, to think right I'm gonna go and sit in the gym today and do an hour do an hour and a half whatever but um, yeah in my, own, in my own subconscious I'm kind of like oh you know what if what if they point and laugh what if they think I'm an idiot what if they, you know all of those things and in reality, probably none of those will happen. But you know what it's like when you just get in your head sometimes. It's uh, yeah, it's a stupid place to be in reality because we all know the likelihood of that happening is very, very slim. But but yeah, that's that's the main thing. Ramble over. I am gonna make some kind of conscious effort. If anyone's interested, I will keep you updated through the through the process. Um, I reckon to uh, give you some idea of the challenge ahead I reckon I'll probably stand to lose about £110, £115 which whatever that is in stone is probably 7, 8 stone maybe I guess is what I would probably like to lose so yeah not uh, not an easy task by any stretch and I'm really not even that bothered about being like completely ripped or anything like that it's not even that I just want to be like healthier and actually have a bit of stamina be able to keep up with the kids in the park and take them on hikes and stuff we've got loads of lovely like um, reservoirs and stuff around here but they're all a bit of a hike to get to I'd love to be able to take the kids up to some of those and, and uh, do some walks and things like that. And, and Keep them out. At present, it just isn't going to happen. So, but yeah, it's um, it's easily done, you know. Once you, when when you're doing loads of exercise and then you stop, but then you don't change the diet that you were doing with the exercise, it's it's easy to know or to see how quickly the weight creeps back on. So, yeah, we will, um, yeah, well, like I said, if you're interested, I will keep you updated. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to start the uh, uh, Simidad. YouTube channel about going to the gym and stuff. I'm not doing that, but I will um, we'll gladly keep you updated in the videos periodically with how it's going. I think probably what I well, what I might would, would like to do or would be a good option for me, but it's uh, it's again a tricky one. Um, Oh, we've been lucky with the way stations today. We've been past three way stations and bypass all three. That is awesome. Uh, yeah, I'd probably like to sort of train martial arts of some kind. But 
not with any view of competing, but just as a good exercise form. We've got a couple of mates who do it. And they do it more as more for exercise than actual anything else, and they they get a, they seem to enjoy it and get a good workout. But again, it's that um, right now it's that thing of actually current weight that you're at. I don't think you can rock up to a martial arts gym and say, hey, can we train jiu-jitsu or something like that. So I think maybe that will come down the line. You just see those videos of the people online and it's like, they're just absolutely insane, the skills that they've got. So that, that's that's the current goal. What's going on here, guys? Come on, let's go, go, go. We're on a schedule here, let's go. Yeah, so and that's um so that's what we've I've been doing as well on a on a different note. Um I mentioned it slightly earlier, it's so just coming into the state of Montana. Um we are We've been putting up the Christmas decorations this week in preparation for Christmas. Now, I love Christmas. I think I mentioned it in, in one of the episodes a few weeks back. I absolutely love Christmas. It's my favourite time of year. Um, generally, everyone seems to be in a good mood. All the lights and house decorations and stuff really sort of make it more enjoyable driving around. And... Uh, I just absolutely love it. I don't think that will ever change. And to be honest, I couldn't really tell you why I love it so much. Um, it's just one of those things that I love. And uh, it's one of those things I'd always love. Righto, so we're a little bit less than I said, um, but time is, because of seeing Jake, the episode time is running longer than I would like. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up here in Lima, I think this is, and we straight. are going to uh, rock it up to this truck stop, and we'll park up here. We'll park up in this truck stop. And we'll continue here straight here for the episode, and then pick up from this truck stop. On the next episode, which will come out on Sunday, so this is part one of two. Turn right. Pull up in here. Handbrake on in neutral. Turn the engine off. All right, and that will do us for this episode. So, she's looking sweet with the new boots on. Uh, that's what I was going to say is we will have a... I'll pick it up on the next episode um, about what the kind of plans are for the for the rest of the... or for the next thing to focus on to get the truck repairs done. Um, but for now, guys, that is going to do us. If you have enjoyed the uh, episode, smash the like button. It really does help the channel out. Uh, subscribe if you aren't already. We'd love to have more people on board. If you want to come in the Discord, there's a link in the description below. There's not just trucks in there, there's farming as well, there's flight sim channels, there's just general chat channels, so come and have a chat to us, we're all a nice bunch of people. Uh, and if you want to drive for a VTC, a VTC that is relaxed, easy going, no mileage restrictions, nothing like that, no targets, no goals, no write-ups or anything like that, then we would absolutely love to have you. The link is in the description below to the Discord, where you can find all the information you need to join the VTC. SD Logistics, we've got 12 strong at the moment. Uh, we're looking to take on more people all the time, so if you want to run it, whether you run ATS or ETS, come and join. We'd love to have you. We do the convoys. We are going to set up an ETS convoy at some point as well. Uh, but for now, guys, you take care, and we'll catch you in the next episode.